It's Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month! Hello my beautiful gnomies and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations and I'm Nova and today is the last Saturday of the month and if you've been here before you know what the last Saturday of the month means. It means Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month! <laughs> so today if you have not been here before I'll just really quickly tell you what Gnome of the Month is. Uh, we come on here the first Saturday and the last Saturday of the month with a Gnome of the Month video. The first Saturday of the month I come on here and I tell you guys what I am planning on making that month for my Gnome. It may be a pattern that I've purchased, it may be a freehanded design, it may be I'm making a crochet along tutorial type of thing, which is what I did this month. And then the last Saturday of the month I come on here and I show you guys how it came out and what I ended up doing. And then I also show you all of your guys' gnomes. So <clears throat> you can send gnomes at any point throughout the month. You can even send them today after you see this video if you want to. Just put gnome of the month in the subject line and it will end up in the next gnome of the month video from whenever you send it. So I just go into my email and I search gnome of the month and that's how I find them all. So make sure that you put that as the subject line. And in the email you can attach pictures. Uh, let me know what name you would like me to use when showing off your gnome and if you have any other little blurbs like details about the pattern or the yarn or a story, uh, you can put whatever you want in there and I will put things together and create the gnome of the month video. I usually put music and do like a montage or sometimes I do a voiceover uh, and I just like tell you guys about everybody's gnomes. Um, but either way, we come together and we have some fun gnominess. Um, my email is in the description box in this video and on all of my videos. So if you ever need that, it is in there. And it is novanomecreations at gmail.com. Um, and then also, I totally just lost my train of thought that I was having when I said that. Oh no, what was it? <laughs> I was about to say something and I interrupted my own self and now I don't remember what it was. Okay, whatever. It'll come back to me at some point if it was important, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so send me those and then I put them together and we have Gnome of the Month Saturday. So today is Gnome of the Month and if you see in that little picture right there, that is a galaxy gnome that my hubby painted me with his airbrush. I love it. I can actually angle it a little bit more to the side. There you go. And then you can also see last month's gnome of the month. It was this Christmas gnome and uh, it's a Santa gnome and there is a crochet along for that as well. <clears throat> and I made it out of velvet yarn. So if you are interested in that, um, in the description box, I always put my um, gnome tutorials and all of my tutorials uh, like little playlists. So you can find my gnome tutorials there. Um, one of my most popular ones is probably my pocket gnomes. So if you want to make like little gnomes, they're very quick and easy. Um, there is a tutorial for those. So check them out. Uh, even if you're a beginner, if you're like a super duper beginner, I made a super duper beginner friendly gnome tutorial. So literally something for everybody. All right. So hopping into it, I will show you guys my gnomes of the month today or this month, I made a mushroom gnome crochet along. And there's a couple different like variations of how to do this gnome. There is this one with the stuffed hat and it gets like more of a like kind of plushy, uh, filled out kind of chunky look. The, the um, gills part of the mushroom kind of puffs out at the bottom. And that's how this one looks. I will pop a picture up right here of what it looks like if you make it and you don't stuff the hat or the head, if you will, since it's a gnome. Um, they actually look quite different. Um, so there are two totally different options you can go for just for this particular gnome. Um, but this is how he comes out and he is so cute. Personally, I like him better without the uh, stuffing in his hat, but I wanted to make a fully stuffed option for people who are wanting to make a plushie. Mushroom cap, yes, in the mushroom cap. <laughs> um, but I wanted to make a fully stuffed option because some people are wanting to make a plushie and these are actually really good if you're wanting to make a plushie for kids because there are no safety eyes or anything like that. So if you're worried about like choking hazards, as long as you secure on all your bits really well, um, there's nothing they could choke on really. Um, but I do prefer the look uh, without the stuffed uh, hat or mushroom cap as my hubby said. Um, a little bit more personally. Um, also in the tutorial, I, I uh, showed you guys that you could technically make it and not attach the cap. 
because they sit really, really well on top of it. So if you're interested in that, check out the tutorial where I showed it. They sit really well on there and they could be a little place for you to put little stuff. So you could put like little trinkets in there, things that are important to you. Um, <laughs> it would be a good spot for that because then you can just plop the hat on top. This hat's not finished, but I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about with this one. So this was the girl variation of the mushroom gnome, which is also in the tutorial. And I love it. It's got like a little hourglass kind of shape, if you can see under the hair. Um, and it's also like more of a traditional mushroom shape. I will pop some uh, picture up over here if you wanted to see it with the mushroom cap on. But then here is an example of what I mean that you can just pop. <laughs> it's not done, so that's kind of messing with it. But you can you can just pop <laughs> sorry he's making commentary in there i don't know if you can hear him but he said once you pop you just don't stop um you can just pop a different mushroom cap onto it if you wanted to or the same one and then you could remove it and then you can keep stuff inside of here and it could be like a little container but also you could do like seasonal tops or different colored um or caps you could do different color mushroom caps or seasonal mushroom caps and you could just change them out so I think that that is super, super cool. I'm currently working on a Valentine's Day design. Um, I'm thinking about doing it with little hearts instead of spots on the mushroom cap. So I think that that will be super cute. But yeah, that is the gnome of the month that I created. If I can try to pick these up, here's kind of the vibe. And you guys have sent in pictures of your gnomes and I am loving it. So many of you guys participated in Gnome of the Month's uh, crochet along, which by the way, a uh, full disclaimer or like to set your mind at ease or something, you do not have to make my crochet along. If I do a crochet along, that is totally optional. Your Gnome of the Month does not have to be my Gnome of the Month crochet along. It can be any gnome. And actually, that was what I forgot to say earlier when I lost my train of thought. Um, you do not have to crochet to be part of Gnome of the Month. If you would like to make a gnome of any sort of crafty medium, it could be painting, crocheting, knitting, sewing, diamond painting, uh, painting, drawing, whatever, any type of crafty medium, you are free to send that in and I will include it in Gnome of the Month. Um, this is just for us fun crafty folk to enjoy our love of gnomes together and see everybody's creativity. So you do not have to make a specific gnome and you do not have to use a specific medium. Um, so you do not have to make the gnome I make. <clears throat> you can make any gnome and you can make as many gnomes as you want. So if you make five gnomes, send me five gnomes. I am totally cool and happy with actually getting all of your gnomes and putting them together for the video. I love to see them. I really loved seeing your guys' takes on this mushroom gnome. I have some ideas. I'm definitely going to be making more mushroom gnomes um, because I think that there is a lot of fun to be had with this mushroom gnome idea. Um, and I love to see your guys' takes on them. That was super cool. So if you're uh, planning to make one and you haven't gotten to yet, that's totally fine. Send it in whenever you do. Um, and it can be in any gnome of the month. It doesn't have to be in this month. So... I hope everybody is having a fantastic Saturday, and I hope that you all enjoy Gnome of the Month. I hope that you guys enjoy the little montage, and I hope everybody is having a great day, and I hope you get some good quality crafting time in, and some relaxing time in. Take some deep breaths, and I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and now for the Gnome montage. <laughs>